Hello, my name is Nicole Stiver and I'm the art therapist here at the Swedish Cancer Institute. In this podcast, I will explain what art therapy is and is not, the benefits of art therapy, what to expect during a typical visit, and information for scheduling an appointment. First, however, I would like to start by acknowledging a common reaction to art therapy. Many people are afraid to try making art. They think they're not artistic or creative enough. This is a normal reaction. Most people haven't made art since elementary school. I want to assure you that you do not need art skills or confidence to try art therapy. Anyone can do art therapy. Art therapy is about the process of art making rather than the product itself. Always remember, there is no wrong way to make art. Let's talk more about what art therapy is and is not. Art therapy is a healing modality intended to bring together physical, emotional, and spiritual care by facilitating creative ways for patients to respond to their cancer experience. Art therapy is not an instructional art class. In other words, I don't teach you how to make art. I will help you in becoming familiar with different types of art media. I will encourage you to play and experiment with art supplies. In art therapy, I'm not here to judge or interpret your artwork. I will invite you to view your art and find your own meaning about what you've created. Remember, art therapy is therapy. It's a time for you to use art to ex explore the variety of issues that may come up with illness. Art making itself is therapeutic. It transcends words and triggers different parts of the brain and subconscious. When you make art, you may find you are able to reach a new depth of understanding about yourself and your experiences. People decide to use art therapy for many different reasons. Art therapy provi provides an outlet for feelings. Art therapy is a wonderful way to learn and practice positive coping skills. A recent study found that art therapy reduced symptoms related to pain and anxiety in patients with cancer. Art therapy increases self-awareness and self-discovery. When you make art, you can explore and examine thoughts or emotions that may be difficult to put into words. Many people find that art making decreases stress and increases relaxation. I've heard some people say they're simply relieved to get their worries out of their head and onto paper where they can sort them out or use art to transform them. During illness, many parts of life may feel out of control. Making art is one way to regain a sense of control. Art therapy sessions are 50 minutes in length and many patients come weekly. I see people who have just been diagnosed or are in cancer treatment. I also see people who have completed treatment and are looking for a place to process their experience and rebuild their life after cancer. The visits are self-directed, but when needed, I will help you by suggesting materials to use or a place to start. In my office, you will find a large variety of art supplies available, including colored pencils, pens and markers, chalk pastels, oil pastels, polymer clay, acrylic paint, watercolor paint, beads, buttons, fabric, found objects, charcoal, collage images, and a variety of paper. In a typical session, you can expect to spend some time talking, some time making art, and some time looking at what you have made. Thank you for listening to the Plugged Into Your Health Cancer Podcast Program on What to Expect in Art Therapy. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions about our art therapy services or if you would like to schedule an appointment. My phone number is 206-215-6178 and my office is located in the Cancer Education Center. Thank you.